Nanoleaf lights aren't relatively new tech you can pick up for your home, but in South Africa, the brand has had a rocky past. Up to last year, Nanoleaf products weren't readily available in the country. In fact, if you wanted to pick some up, you had to spend a small fortune importing them privately or buying them as a grey product from other retailers who would import them privately for you. That has now changed thanks to Retron South Africa, who is now the official distributor for the product range. Not only does this mean you'll get support with your Nanoleaf purchases, but the lineup is also a bit cheaper. Emphasis on the bit, because Nanoleaf isn't cheap by any means. As a Nanoleaf noob, I've always sided with Govi, who also makes some incredible lighting solutions. But I wanted to test out some Nanoleaf products in my gaming room to really see what the fuss was about. I try to live a simple and easy life when it comes to products such as smart lights. When I sit down on the couch, I either want to say a few words to turn all my lights on or simply press one button on an app to do the same thing. I'm quite fussy when it comes to smart product integration and how well they work with my other tech around the house. Philips does boast some of the best smart integration on the market and some of the Nanoleaf products claim to work in some weird and wonderful ways. That was my goal here when I asked Rectron to send some lights through to me. I wanted to see how they could enhance not only my gaming room, but I could also test them during load shedding, check whether or not they work with PC hardware and how versatile they can be across both Apple and Google services. Rectron sent me three types of Nanoleaf devices to test out. I got two boxes of the Nanoleaf triangles to test out and a box of the Nanoleaf lines. I also got a set of Nanoleaf elements with the wood pattern on them. The Nanoleaf triangle shapes are likely the most popular of the bunch, but the lines were definitely my favorite. However, installing both sets was very much the same. You need to clean the wall where they were going to be installed with just a damp cloth or wipe it with a dry cloth. The triangles are then mounted onto these clips which come with adhesive tape on the back side. The units I got were pre-used so I had to find replacement tape for them. I stuck as much tape down as possible on the unit and placed them onto the wall. Each triangle then comes with its own connector which links the next shape to the unit. The goal is to use these connectors to link the layout together and source it all from one main power supply. You can really go to town with these designs and combine all the other shapes but I do recommend keeping things simple if you're just starting out with these lights. The Nanoleaf lines were also quite fun to install. You start with one hexagon bracket and stick that down. You then add a line, clip it into another hexagon bracket and so forth. If you want the lines to branch out into multiple directions for each hexagon bracket, you just need to slot another line into one of the five available slots. Slowly as you add more lines and brackets, the layout starts to take shape. It is also powered by one source power supply that comes from one hexagon bracket. There's also another hexagon that has all the buttons that you can manually press on it. So with everything set up, I wanted to create an ideal one-time launch process for the entire room. This wasn't as complicated as I initially thought. I could rely on both Apple HomeKit and Google Assistant to do so. So I set up the process across both. That way I could use my TV to initiate commands through Google Assistant and my phone handled the HomeKit stuff. Philips makes it quite easy to add the Nanoleaf products to Google Home app. That way they sync with the Assistant on Android TV. You'll need to create a home or if you already have, add these lights to the room. Once there, I created a gaming room collection of everything including the TV for easy use. I added all the Nanoleaf products in the gaming room to the collection. Now that the lights were part of the Google Home app, I could easily control them through the assistant on the TV. Of course, you'll need to make sure you're using one account across everything so it carries your products over from these devices. Holding down the voice control on my TV remote, I could easily turn on the lights, change the color and even assign a different scene to them which I created in the app. The assistant features then go beyond the typical voice control too. You could then set up routines which automatically turn on and off at certain times during the day. Say I leave home and forget to turn off the lights, a routine I created would then automatically turn the lights off for me. I could also tell Google I'm heading off and if set up correctly, it would turn off all the lights and even turn the TV off thanks to the Bravia being an Android device. I'm heading out. If you think about what is possible with the Nanoleaf range and Google Assistant, it might seem a bit limited at first. However, as you work these lights into other smart products in your home, things start to expand a bit more. I also discovered that Nanoleaf integrates quite nicely into the Samsung Smart Things app too. So if you don't have an Android TV, you could do all the controlling of these lights on a Samsung TV too. You'll just need to add the lights into the app. But outside of the smart features, the Nanoleaf range is pretty feature packed on its own. The app lets you create scenes, download custom profiles, turn things on and off and so much more. So you don't have to use any smart assistance on this product but it opens up more routines you can create. The app is also easy to use too and the custom scenes let you download any light profile for any occasion.
but my favorite feature of all the features these lights come with is the screen mirror. Here you can have these lights mimic whatever your PC or Mac screen is currently viewing. This is super handy for entertainment but even more so for gaming. If you have set up your room with a few dozen Nanoleaf products and have this enabled, it really creates some fantastic immersions while gaming and watching TV. I would say that my first Nanoleaf experience was great. I know these lights have been around for some time now, but if used properly, they are actually more than just a light. I found myself turning them on during load shedding with my EcoFlow Delta 2 inverter and setting the scene to daylight just to provide some more light in the room. Even when working during the day, having them trickle through some calming pastel colors created a peaceful ambience around me. Of course, when gaming, all the crazy bright light colors were unable to fit the mood. I think Philips has integrated the Nanoleaf lights quite well into other brands to help merge different lifestyles together and the more smart stuff you own, the cooler your life can be. You just need to be a bit adventurous on how you use these devices. So that's it for this video. Huge thanks to Rectron for sending these Nanoleaf lights for me to test. If you've watched any of the previous videos in the past few weeks, you'll see I've been using these Nanoleaf lights in every single video. I just want to thank everybody for stopping by and giving this video a watch. Please do consider liking and subscribing. Visit www.glitchedonline for more gaming tech news and reviews. And until next time, farewell.